Hi everyone, Jakesoft here. Uh, I've got myself here another DIY anal board and uh, these are great programmable little boards. Uh, I've demonstrated them in some previous videos. Um, but one of the quirks about these is before they'll detect uh, accurate motion, you have to calibrate them. Um, and so that's what we're going to go over today is how to do that process and uh, get them calibrated so they detect your swings and your clashes all nice. Okay, so before you start, open up Notepad or get a piece of paper, um, it doesn't really matter which, and write down these uh, letters, AX, AY, AZ, GX, GY, and GZ. Uh, and you'll see why later in the video. Um, so here's what you do. You start with the uh, device and you put it with the device package for the MPU 6050 uh, facing up. Um, I believe it's this chip right here, um, and it's facing up, obviously, uh, because I know that's the Atmel chip, because you can read the small text on it, and it, that's what it says. So I believe, by process of elimination, uh, that's the one that it is, because I know that's the FTDI chip. There's some other voltage regulators and stuff like that on the other side, so that's not it. So that's our guy right there. Plug in. Your USB cable. It should light right up, all nice. Alright. Then you load up your calibration sketch. Make sure you've installed the I2C dev library, the MPU 6050 library, and the wire.h library comes with uh, the Arduino IDE, so you don't have to do anything extra to install that. And then go up to Tools, Board, and select Arduino Nano. Um, you can see I've already selected that. Uh, what also works is Arduino Pro or Pro Mini um, if you select the right uh, frequency for the MCU, but don't, don't worry about that. Just pick Nano. It's the easiest way. Then uh, also make sure that uh, your processor is AT Mega 328 because that's what the uh, DOA you know, uses. Um, if you're using a you know just a standard MPU 6050 breakout board, um, obviously select whatever whatever processor you're going to be using to interface with it. Then go down to here and build a sketch. All right. Then and uh, you know obviously make sure that you select the right port uh, for whatever you are plugged into. I'm com com six. Then I'll just build it one more time to make sure. All right. Then upload. The activity lights on your uh, board shows it's uploading. Then you go back over here. You go tools, serial monitor. That'll open your serial monitor. Now what it's doing is it's sitting here. You can see it's, it says send any character to sketch. Um, it means that it's basically waiting for input because it's not going to start the calibration process until you're ready. So just go up here and put really anything. A, then hit send. Alright, so what that'll do is now it's starting the calibration process. Now see that right there? What I told you, put it with the, with the letters facing up. That's, that's what we were checking at the beginning of this video. Now it'll run through... Uh, it's calibration process and at the end you should see some numbers now that's why you need to have a pen and paper or a notepad on your computer or something ready to write those values down there you go okay so these are the values that you'll want to know so the most important part of this output is your offsets right here. These are the numbers you're going to want to write down right here. So in the format is ACLX, ACLY, ACLZ, Gyro X, Gyro Y, Gyro Z. So this corresponds to this, this corresponds to this, this corresponds to this, and so on. So that's how you do it. And then you write down those values and you plug those into your code. Uh, the U-Saber uh, calibration uh, structure takes those values, and uh, that's how you calibrate. So now you can see I've plugged in my values uh, that I got from the sketch into this file, 
And so now I can save this file and always have a reference for my calibration values that I can use in sketches for my MPU 6050. Now the Universal Saber Library uh, has a example sketch where you can test out your MPU 6050. It's under USaber, Examples, Motion, MPU 6050 Motion Manager. So if you open up that sketch, right here in the setup function, this is where all those values come in. So you can see here, I've got old values from a, a different DIY email that I was testing with before, but now I can comment that stuff out. And so now you can see I've commented out the old values and added the new ones. So you should be able to build that. Push it down to the board. And when it's done uploading, open the serial monitor again. All right. So you can see it says it's testing. Uh, see, we've got some swings there. Now you can see you can swing it around, and now it's working. You can play around with the tolerance values and everything, but at this point, you've basically got something that's working. Ooh, I love these boards. I love them.